Hi, yet another video on uh, GPU rendering. Um, I got myself a cheapest chips, the cheapest uh, um, NVIDIA RTX 4060 board that I could find. What is it? Is it a... Hang on. Uh, it's, a, it's a PNY card. It was the absolute cheapest. Because what I wanted, because I'm not a gaming kid here, I don't do any gaming. What I wanted is the 4060, uh, the new 4060 chipset that supposedly has the AV1 codec encoder in it. Because I wanted to try that. Everyone was raving about this AV1 codec and how file sizes are much smaller and it's better quality, blah, 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 right? A file, smaller file size is always better, right? More better. Uh, because now, these days, like, I do keep all my raw video files, uh, by the way, and uh, so I drag them, um, so I used to just copy them straight from the SD card, straight onto my NAS array, and then edit straight from those. But now I actually transcode the files first from H.264, which is what I get on the camera, to uh, H.265, and I, I save quite a significant amount of uh, file size doing that. And I've got uh, some handbrake scripts uh, to do that. You've seen this in plenty of previous videos. Anyway, so I've upgraded from the RTX tw uh, four, uh, what is it, 2060 to the 4060. Um, it's an 8 gig uh, card and it doesn't, I don't need any of the, I don't need the full 8 gig as I'll show you. Um, GPU temperature, 44 degrees C, there you go, 19% at the moment because I'm doing uh, screen capture. My um, screen capture is um, uh, using GPU, using XSplit. So anyway, um, yeah, um, I, I've tried it, and sorry, but AV1, uh, um, at least for my purposes. Now, um, to get support for this, I had to actually install the latest nightly build of Handbrake here, right? So, uh, yeah, so I did this snapshot, the latest update from four days ago or whatever, right? So I've now got that, and um, here it is. I now actually have file support... Give me one second. I now have uh, file support and um, codec support for an AV1. Now, the release build of Handbrake still does not support the AV1 codec on the NV Inc, which is the NVIDIA en encoder. It only supports these first two options here, which is SVT. I believe that's the Intel one. So you've got to have one of those Intel uh, GPU cards to actually get that, I believe. So anyway, I, I did try that. Well, it, actually, you don't need that. I tried it. And it doesn't work. Like, well, it it works, but it's dog slow. I'm talking like four frames per second. And and I got a pretty grunty um CPU. So, you know, it's like <laughs> like uh, for those who want to know, my um CPU um is a Ryzen 9 5900X, right? 12 core jobby. So, you know, it's it's not too shabby at all as far as uh you know, as far as CPU goes. And it was like three. And like it was nothing. It was like two frames per second. I it was like it didn't work. Anyway, so with the uh, new daily build, they do support AV1 NV Inc. and it does actually uh, work. Now, by default, the constant quality uh, codec here is uh, 30, whereas I used to use 26 on my handbrake. My handbrake uh, script that I've got, I've got the quality set to 26, which is what I use for 4K, and it's a, that's a little bit high. Uh, for 1080p, but and I don't notice a difference with my uh, sort of content. Anyway, I do have another script which does it at uh, 23 uh, for 1080p content. So if I've got, if I'm shooting in only 1080p on the card, I drag it into the 23 quality factor um, transcoder for H.265, right? So um, I normally I don't use the GUI interface like this, but I'm just showing you that it is now available. So um, my other one uses the H.265 NV Inc. Um, encoder. And I've dragged in a file um, here, right? It's just not one, of, this is part of this uh, shoot here. And um, I've, these, these are the results here. Let me, oh, get rid of that. And yeah, up. I, everyone raved about this AV1 being full of smaller file size. It's not, okay? Here's my H.265 at 26 quality factor, okay? Which is better quality than 30. Uh, the lower that number, the better the constant quality of your video is going to be. And that's 674 uh, meg for a... Um, oh, what's the... So I'm going to have to... I can tell you what the... Oh... Hang on, uh, I'll get there in a sec. 
Give me a second. Du, du, du. Uh, I'm not going to edit this video. Sorry. Um, it is uh, uh, it is 1.85 gig. So the raw video file is 1.85 gig. Okay, and it goes down to and that's H.264, uh, and it goes down to I can show you that actually properties. There it is there. Okay, there's the file that I transcoded, uh, you know, uh, 4K, uh, 3840 by 2160. Um, and yeah, just a standard uh, camera H.264. I did it to H.265 with 26 quality factor. I got 674. Exactly the same quality factor with AV1 using the NV Inc. encoder. So the new AV1 in 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 core in there, one gig, one gig. Why? Why would I? Why would I use it? I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. But I, everyone was raving about this AV1 codec. Maybe the NV Inc. implementation is not as good as the Intel implementation. Ah, uh -uh. I'm not going to go bloody buy another Intel in Intel card just to do that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, disappointing. So and uh, once it changed it to 30 quality factor, it's 951. It's still not as good. Worse quality factor. Than the N than the H two six five. So AV one compared to H two six five, it's no contest. I'm still going to use H uh, two six five, and, and I can actually run it here. Um, starting code, same as source. So NV Inc. encoder. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, NV Inc. encoder. We're all good. Yeah, I think we're all good. And I can start that encoder. And I was getting about a hundred and um, well, with my script, um, I was getting about. Uh, I'm now getting, <clears throat> with 4K, I'm getting about 125 frames per second. This one's doing 137, so it's pretty good. It's, it might be faster, but let me, okay, so like an average frames per second, 132. There you go, so I can stop that now. Are you sure? Yes. And then I can change it over to H.265, also on the new, uh, in, using NV Inc on the new 4060 card, and I can start that. Everything's exactly the same. Okay, so all exactly the same settings. And yes, I already exist. Overwrite. So what was that? 132 or something. Let's compare it. Simple speed comparison here. There's not much in it. So it's, a, it's the same average, right? So it looks like the NV Inc. is the same either way. Uh, uh, by the way, um, GPU video encode, it does uh, H.265 shows 100% uh, percent here for that. But as I said, I'm screen capturing here. So are you willing to stop? Yes. Let's change it back to AV1, NV Inc. Let's start the encode again. Yes. Boom. And I found that the AV1 did not go to 100%, which was, it, it probably will now because I'm doing the screen capture in the background, but I found, I find it, it went to like 70% or something like that. So anyway, um, yeah, it's only using two gig of the eight gig dedicated memory on the card. So yeah, like there's no difference. <laughs> if you just want to do encoding like this, just get the cheapest, shittest card. It makes no, no, no difference between the 4060 or the 4060 Ti. Um, I don't believe there's any difference because it's the rendering core in the chip. Um, uh, yeah, if you're doing your other graphics, if you're a gamer kid and doing your other graphics, yes, it's got more cores for other things, but that doesn't matter for the encoding. The encoding engine's actually uh, the same there. So yeah, GPU only gets to 55. Oh, no, no, it's peaking. It's cooling down a bit, is it? I can't hear it. So 51, right? Oh, no, no, it just finished. <laughs> I guess it just finished. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Um, No, AV1. Everyone's raving about it. Nope, nope. I'm going to stick with H.265 encoding. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, yeah, it's I got a quite a significant uh, boost going from the 2060 to the 4060 uh, in terms of handbrake transcoding. Um, 4K is uh, my 1080p stuff is about 480 frames per second, um, which is really quick. I think I was only getting 330, 350 before or something like that. So it's significantly faster uh, with the 4060 compared to the 2060. Um, and 4K is now 100 and, you know, 30 odd frames per second uh, there. And I used to get like, I don't know, 80, 100, something like that um, for the, my 4K with the older card. So it's a decent improvement for the 4060. There you go. Um, yeah, AV1, nah, 
as far as I'm concerned, it's a loser. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Catch you next time.